Hey, this is Jill from Tenmarks, and I'm very excited to share with you some exciting news about our new Tenmarks Math Teach product that is in um, uh, available today, uh, beginning for any new teacher accounts and also uh, for uh, premium customers. I am just going to share with you real quickly uh, kind of what it looks like from uh, start to finish. Uh, these are new free features. Uh, and when we um, create a free account, it will uh, be immediately available in, uh, in your uh, account for grades two through six. And I'm just creating that second grade class. So I'm showing you what it's like right from the, the very beginning. Uh, I've created a 10 marks account and I have added one student called Demo to my class. And what you may have been seeing is this idea that I can toggle between 10 marks math and 10 marks math teach. So this math teach uh, is going to be the brand new feature set and what we have created is uh, three really core uh, pieces of information. For all of the grade levels we now have uh, full access to hints and videos uh, or excuse me videos and amplifiers that teachers have been asking us for um, searchable resources. Uh, we also have uh, lesson plans available and lesson resources. Um, so let's just say I've got uh, first, second, or I'm a second grade teacher and I'm going to choose three um, grade levels and I am going to uh, just click sign up. The first thing you'll see is a uh, kind of grayed out area that's just highlighting for the first time users uh, what we're looking at. So this area in the upper left corner is going to be really important because you can view both lessons and the video and amplifier resources that I mentioned. And you can start creating kind of the idea of a to-do list. So for a lot of teachers, uh, this, this new capability is going to act like a grab-and-go kind of lesson resource. Uh, as you cover the Common Core um, content using Tenmarks Math Teach, uh, anything that you've completed will help you kind of keep track on kind of a dashboard. And uh, we're going to be talking about something that we call curriculum. It's really just um, really wonderful, deep and rigorous resources for you. Uh, so here we are at Tenmarks Math Teach. And what you see is that I have um, curriculum sort of preloaded for me for second grade. And you'll see that there are several lessons. But before we jump into the lesson, I just want to highlight for you uh, this important tool in the upper left corner. So here's where you can explore the content. You can do an exploration and you can begin uh, kind of collecting your favorites. So in the curriculum, you'll see I signed up for two, three, and four, which is right here. But before we jump into that, let's just explore for a second. So uh, you can toggle in the Explore button, and you can look at um, uh, the curriculum resources. You can also look at the, um, uh, what do you call it, the amplifiers and the videos. So um, don't forget that you can also um, rate the lessons, but what we're looking at here is the exploration for grade two, three, four, five, and six. And if I click on this um, explore button, do you see how there's a toggle here? So the first thing that is just going to be exciting for anyone who you, who's used the 10 Marks Premium Program is the fact that you now have all of the videos uh, from all of the different Common Core standards. That's just part of what you have now in 10 Marks. So you can search through and let's say I was going to be uh, teaching a lesson on identifying uh, numbers using base 10 blocks. I could use that video or I could use the amplifier that might uh, help with that as well. And so these resources are going to be really helpful for you, just adding a little punch to your lesson. The other thing that's going to be really exciting is, of course, that idea of the lessons that are available. So just a quick little overview here. I want to um, point out this um, 2.nbt5 is the lesson that I'd like to go ahead and kind of think about. And what you'll see is the 
uh, Common Core Standard. If I click on that, it's going to show me not only what are the learning objectives for this particular uh, part of the Common Core, but also what are the prerequisites? What do my students really need to understand before they're going to be ready to succeed with uh, the depth and rigor of 2.MBT5? So if I click here to begin my lesson, what you'll see is that um, there's kind of a little uh, lesson wizard that will take me through again uh, what I'm uh, uh, wanting to do. Keep in mind that you can rate things. But you'll see that all lessons will start with the learning objectives for this particular standard and we're going to be you know, adding and subtracting within 100. Uh, if I click start, um, you'll see that the first thing is we can try and assess the readiness. So there's going to be a sequence of things that you can use either for self-study or for actual presentations in your classroom at the front of the room or in a small group and kind of helping to determine you know, whether your students understand those prerequisites. Uh, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail here, but I do want to point out that there is kind of a, a print mode and a presentation mode. So what most teachers are doing is they're looking here at um, the questions on the far left side as being a sequence of things that you might ask your class to try and determine do they know those prerequisite standards. If they actually are not successful in knowing these things, you may want to move to a warm-up. And um, that would be the next uh, piece. The, the, uh, all lessons will start with the assess readiness piece, then it will move to the common misconceptions. Uh, we highlight not only kind of what the general sort of naming, but also examples of student work. Uh, these misconceptions come directly from uh, five years of data that we have collected using uh, literally uh, millions of data points from students using 10 marks math. And then if your students were not quite ready, we're going to give them some warm-up lessons. So this is like a, a really focused set of review um, questions and topics that you can go through and uh, uh, discuss with your class to remind them of what those uh, 1.MBT4, 5, and 6 prerequisites were. And so you'll see as I go down the list on the far left side that the questions build in complexity and what we're doing is we're really kind of uh, building the concept uh, understanding using some front of the class resources or this could be used also very well in a small group. I mentioned that you have the ability to uh, toggle into a presentation mode and you're seeing here that when I click on this little button in the top right corner I can project and this is going to be something that I could uh, put on the screen for my whole class and what's kind of exciting is that I can print this little set of teacher directed questions. These are really for you, the teacher, in either a prep mode, or if I click print, it will actually build for me a, um, a, a really nice printout uh, of these uh, uh, questions for either the assess readiness, for the lessons, or the, the warm up. And then as we conclude the uh, warm up, then we're going to get into. Uh, really the kind of meat of 10 Marks Math Teach, which is going to be the uh, focus lessons. So if I pull my mouse down to the bottom, you'll notice that the whole bar pops up. Uh, this pop-up is going to show me um, the focus lessons, and in this case for 2.MBT5, there are a total of eight lessons that we have um, created resources for you that start with some of the simpler ideas uh, that will help build concept strength for 2.MBT5. And again, you'll see the list of topics uh, and possible discussion questions or preparation questions that build along the left side. And then you'll see a really nice variety of um, animations and teaching tools that you have uh, to help kind of discuss in class uh, the topics that are being um, really focused on in uh, this um, uh, place value uh, topic. So as I go down the list of questions, I'm just quickly scrolling through and just moving forward. But you'll notice that these questions on the right side 
or suggestions on what kind of discourse you might have with your students. And in many cases, there will be lots of opportunity for you to not only uh, discuss at the front of the room with the whole class, or to use this as a center, or to use this in a problem-based learning kind of environment. And hopefully, by helping you with these um, uh, focused lessons, uh, you'll really have even more success with uh, building your students' knowledge and capabilities uh, for the depth of the Common Core. I'm going to conclude by just sharing that um, each lesson also has extension ideas as well as some differentiation opportunities. So if I go into the focus lessons, you'll see that in the upper right or the upper left corner, there's always going to be a remediate and challenge section. Uh, but then ultimately, when you've covered whatever number of these focus lessons you would like, um, especially as you get towards the, the lower part, the focus six, seven, and eight here, uh, when the students are very successfully able to master these concepts and they'd be really, uh, we think, ready for applying and practicing their new knowledge of the 2.MBT5 standard or whatever standard you've taught uh, using 10 marks math uh, high quality problems uh, as assignments and uh, assessments. So that's a brief overview of 10 marks math teach. You'll be hearing more from us in the future about all the different ways uh, to think about and utilize this. We've started with just a few free uh, lessons for or a few free standards for each of the uh, core grade levels that we teach and we'll be sharing with you more information in the future about additional uh, premium resources that can build out on this, uh, this new capability across all the standards uh, in the elementary and uh, up through algebra uh, grades. Thanks so much for learning about 10 Marks Math Teach.